New at 6, a San Francisco musician is working to revive the city's music scene with an all-inclusive venue in Knob Hill that gives artists a place to stay, record, rehearse, as well as perform. Yeah, KTV's Crystal Bailey takes us to Music City SF. It's a space to empower local musicians and attract stars to the Bay Area. A project more than 20 years in the making aimed at reigniting San Francisco's music scene. Music City SF will finally be the space musician Rudy Colombini envisioned, featuring everything a person could need to make music. Cut songs, write songs, produce songs, play songs, perform songs. It's all about the song. During a time when the city's perception has been tarnished, Music City SF could put San Francisco back on the map. This is the seed that will make San Francisco into another star of a city for music which it hasn't been for 25 years. Back in 2017, Colombini renovated the hotel and hostel filled with more than 90 beds, which includes dorm-style rooms for groups or themed rooms, like this Metallica suite. And along the walls, a gallery of legends with local ties. In 2020, work began downstairs, where musicians can rent instruments and one of the 20 plug-and-play studio spaces. It's very hard to be a musician here. Uh, there's, a, there's a lack of infrastructure and, you know, places to play live, places to practice, um, access to gear. Uh, so we're trying to solve all those problems. In the new year, these walls will be filled with exhibits highlighting the work of musicians from all over the Bay Area. Simultaneously, the rooms around us will be filled with musicians recording new music. <laughs> The space will eventually expand to include a restaurant and bar, plus four venues for performances or parties. Literally, a uh, thousand musicians could flow through this building a day. Colin Beeney says the work at Music City SF will be complete in the first quarter of the new year. He's hoping it empowers musicians and changes the future of the Bay Area's music scene. In San Francisco, Crystal Bailey, KTVU, Fox 2 News.